finally, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we present to you a glimpse of the traditional Indian dresses from different states in India, 29 states and each state with a unique culture, history and traditions. No doubt, it is a celebration of university in diversity. Let's start with the capital of India, New Delhi. It is a massive metropolitan area in the country's north and the second wealthiest city in the country. The capital Delhi is a melting point of culture and dresses of other parts of India. Hence, this fashionable outfit is a result of fusion of these different styles. Jammu and Kashmir is a state in northern India located mostly in the Himalayan mountains. Costumes are well known for embroidery and intricate designs which reflects the richness of the culture and landscape of the region worn with a headgear and a scarf. Tripura one of the smallest state of India is rich with gorgeous landscapes, crystalline waterfalls and a generous sprinkling of history and traditions. The dress on display this evening is a traditional dress known as Pon of a tribe called Dalong. It is a combination of intricate weaving and craft work. Assam is a state in northeastern India known for its wildlife, archaeological sites, tea plantations and its silk. The Mekla Chadar is a traditional dress for the woman. This two-piece garment has a long piece of cloth that is draped from the waist downwards and is then folded into pleats and tucked in. Uttar Pradesh a state through which the river Ganges flows, where the largest human gathering, the Kumbh Mela, a religious festival, has just been held, having been witnessed by a representative, each from most countries in the world. The people of this state dress in a variety of traditional styles, such as saris, salwar kameez, and lenga choli. Rajasthan, the land of Maharajas. This royal state is steeped in art and culture that reflects the Indian way of life. Here comes Ghagra Choli, the traditional outfit of Rajasthan. Its uniqueness is the main reason for its growing global appeals and demands. Gujarat is an ancient district located in between two famous rivers, the Jhelum and Chinab. The sari in this state is mostly worn, which consists of a drape varying from five to nine yards. Every color represents a specific and unique meaning based on culture and beliefs. Mizoram is a state in northeast India with as well as its capital city. The traditional attire of this beautiful and mountainous state is called Pon. This beautiful and intricate design is with perfect fit. These colorful yet simple dresses attract a lot of people from all over the world. Kerala is a state in the southern part of India known for its palm lined beaches and backwaters network of canals. Kerala is also known as God's own country. The traditional wear is mundu which is worn on the lower portion of the body. It is white and is worn by both men and women. Sikkim, the smallest state of India it is the land of large varieties of plants, animals, rivers, mountains, lakes and waterfalls.
Bako or Baku is a traditional dress worn. It is a loose clock style garment that is fastened at the neck on one side and near the waist with a belt. Maharashtra, a state spanning west central India, is best known for its fast paced city, Mumbai, the financial and show business capital of India. Nawari Sari, also called Nine Yard Sari, is a traditional attire of Maharashtra. The unique style of draping helps free movement to the woman warriors. Madhya Pradesh, as the name implies, Madhya means central and Pradesh means region. This state, situated in the heart of the country, is rich in history and culture. Most of the women in state wear Langa Choli. The zari work and intricate work of weaving threads on the fabric gives an overall rich and beautiful look. West Bengal is a state in eastern India between the Himalayas and the Bay of Bengal. Bengali women traditionally wear a sari which never goes out of style. They are highly wearable on any given day due to their light weight. They usually come in red and white color combinations. Orissa, now Odisha, an eastern Indian state on the Bay of Bengal, is known for its tribal culture and its many ancient Hindu temples. Women wear different type of saris with different colorful patterns made with the finest fabrics and they are hand woven. Bihar is a state in eastern India bordering Nepal. The state takes pride with the strongest of ancient Indian empires and religious sites including Bodh Gaya. The traditional dress consists of colorful saris for Bihari women who wear the red color powder known as Sindur at parting hair area. Punjab, land of five rivers in agriculture based due to presence of abundant water sources and fertile soil. The heart of India's Sikh communities traditional dress is salwar suit. Patiala salwar is very popularly worn with Punjabi Jutis and Paranda in hairstyle. Sare Jaha Se Acha Hindu Sata Hamara Hum Bul Bule Hai Iski Ye Gul Sita Hamara India is a country with huge diversity. Each state has a unique and equally incredible culture, traditions and history. But in the end, what unites all of us in our pride for our nation, our pride of being Indian, Jai Hind. Uh, I would like request. <laughs> well, you should say that mine is from Delhi. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. <laughs> I understand it's from Delhi. So. Jai Hind. A round of applause for the beautiful woman on the stage, please.